Hello students in this video let's learn how to find a ratio between two quantities of same kind and at the same time express them in simplest form as well you might be wondering what do i actually mean by two quantities of same kind meaning if you are going to compare grams and kilograms we need to ensure both these quantities are first expressed in the same unit meaning either grams have to be converted to kilograms or kilograms has to be converted to grams but generally we ensure that the higher units are converted to the lower units let me explain this with an example sum the first sum is you need to find ratio between 75 grams and 1 kg so we are comparing these two quantities grams and kilograms so we need to ensure they are of the same units if we convert the higher units to lower units so that simplification becomes easier so 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams you might be wondering right how do you get 1 kg as 1000 grams as per number line we have kilograms hectogram decagram gram decigram centigram milligram okay these are metric units of capacity kilogram is the highest and milligram is the least now to convert from one unit to an other unit if you are moving towards the right of these units you are moving from kilogram to hectogram your kilogram to decagram we multiply okay multiply when you move towards the right and we divide when we move towards the left for example if i need to convert kilogram to gram in this particular sum as i said we need to convert it to the least value that is grams so to convert kilograms to grams i am moving on towards the right side so how many steps am i going to move one okay from hectogram to decagram it's an again another jump and then an again an other jump from decagram to gram so for each and every jump it is like you multiply with 10 so 1 kg is equal to 10 hectogram and 1 hectogram is 10 decagram and 1 decagram is 10 grams so to convert kilogram to gram we need to multiply by 1000 because 10 Hundred thousand. So ten into ten into ten, we get thousand. So let's move on to the sum. So we have seventy-five grams and one kilogram. So I showed you the conversion. So one kilogram is equal to thousand grams. Now we have both in the same unit as grams. So seventy-five grams and thousand grams. Now you can express it in simplest. form to express it in simplest forms you need to just divide the first number with the second so 75 by 1000 you can take 25 as the common factor that divides both the numbers so we have 25 threes are 75 and 25 fours are 100 so you have a zero so 340 so the ratio expressed in simplest form is 3 is to 40 let's move on to the second sum 35 paise is to rupees 1 in this we need to convert rupees to paise because rupees is of higher denomination 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise now we have converted rupees to paise so we need to compare these two quantities they are of the same unit now 35 paise is 200 paise we divide 35 by 100 the common factor that divides both the number is 5 so 5 sevens are 35 and we have 20 so the ratio is 7 is to 20 Let's move on to the third sum. One kilogram is to three seventy-five grams. One kilogram is equal to thousand grams. This conversion has to be shown in each and every sum without fail. We need to compare thousand grams and 
375 grams. 1000 divided by 375. Common factor being 25. 1000 divided by 25, we get 40. Because 25 fours are 100 and then a 0, so 40. 375, you divide by 25, you get 25 ones are 25 and the remainder and then you get uh, 125, so 25 fives are 125. 40 is to 15. So when I divide with the 5, I get 5 eights are 40 and 5 threes are 15. They have to be further reduced to simplest term. So my final answer is 8 is to 3. So moving on to the next sum. We have 60 centimeter is to 1 meter. Again, we need to do the metric conversion. We have kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter and millimeter. <laughs> kilometer is the highest and millimeter is the least. Now, we need to convert meter to centimeter because see kilometer as i said is the highest value and millimeter is the least so if you compare meter and centimeter meter is of higher value than centimeter so from moving from meter to centimeter we are moving towards the right and we are jumping twice so meter to decimeter and decimeter to centimeter so, 1 meter is 10 decimeter and 1 decimeter is 10 centimeter. So, meter to decimeter we multiply with 10 and decimeter to centimeter again we multiply with 10. So, basically meter to centimeter we need to multiply by 100. Okay. So, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Now, both are of the same units. So, 60 centimeter is to 100 centimeter. Now, you can compare both. So, 60 by 100, you can cancel the zeros straight away. So, we have 2 3s are 6 and 2 5s are 10. Now, we have 60 by 100. You can cancel the zeros straight away. 2 3s are 6, 2 5s are 10. 3 is to 5. So 60 centimeter is to 1 meter is 3 is to 5. Let's move on to the next sum. We have 400 meter is to 1 kilometer. So 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. So 400 meter is to thousand meters so we need to compare these two quantities so 400 divided by thousand whenever you have zeros please ensure that you cancel them first so i've cancelled both the zeros in the numerator and the denominator two twos are four two fives are ten two is to five four hundred meters to one kilometer in its simplest form is two is to five 8 months is to 1, 2 upon 3 years. Now, if you compare between months and years, we all know that years is greater. The years, which is in mixed fraction, is converted into improper fraction. So, I have 8 months is to 3, 1, so 3 plus 2 is 5 by 3 years. So, to convert 5 by 3 years to months, multiply 5 by 3 with 12. Why? Because I am converting years to months and one year is equal to 12 months. When I multiply with 12, I get 20 months. Now, both the quantities are of the same unit. 8 months is to 20 months. Now, we can further reduce to lowest terms. So, 8 by 20, common factor is uh, 4. 4 2 is 8, 4 5 is 20. So, what do we get? 2 is to 5. 8 months is to 1, 2 by 3 years, 2 is to 5. One last sum. 6, 2 by 3 hours is to 1 day. First and foremost, let us convert these hours into improper fractions. So, we get 6 3s are 18 plus 2 is 20 by 3 hours is to 1 day. So, between hours and day, which is greater? Day. So, we need to convert days to hours. 20 by 3 hours is to 24 hours. 
so both the units are same now we need to find the ratio in simplest form so 20 divided by 3 by 24 in case you are getting confused because this is a fraction this is a whole number you can just write it as divide by 1 to avoid confusion so what happens when I do it this way so I get 20 by 3 and the denominator gets reciprocated it becomes 1 by 24 correct now 4 fives are 20 4 six are 24 so we have 5 into 1 is 5 and 3 into 6 is 18 so 6 2 by 3 hours is to one day in simplest form is 5 is to 18 if you like this video and you felt this video was be helpful please do like share and subscribe see you all bye bye